Hey guys, what we're gonna do today is we are gonna build a feed trough. I've already split this barrel in half. I've cut it with a um, sawzall. And now I'm gonna use um, some wood frames. I got some two by fours treated and I have a four by four post that I'm gonna use to build us a feed trough so we can have um, more room for our bison herd to eat as, um, as we feed them every day. Farmer's DIY right here. Hey guys, welcome back to Cross Timbers Bison. I'm Dusty Baker. As you guys know, we bought two heifers last weekend at the Oklahoma Bison Association sale in Sulphur, Oklahoma. And we brought home two new additions to the family. And one of the issues that we're having is, it's not a major issue, but it's something we need to take care of, is we need to get more feeding troughs. Um, because of the hierarchy system, those heifers are the youngest in the group, minus the two little bull calves we have. Um, they're kind of on the lower end of that. And so part of our feeding program and the way we do it, um, they get kind of shoved to the side a little bit. And so with their first week here, they've been doing great. They've been eating hay. They've been eating some feed, but they're uh, getting shoved off of, of the feed troughs uh, by the older ones, especially the bull and our two biggest uh, mama cows. So what we're gonna do today is I am gonna use these old uh, barrels here and I am gonna make a feed trough out of these. And so our heifers and you know, whoever wants to eat, use this, will use this um, to feed out of. But I'm gonna use these, I've already sliced them in half and I'm gonna make a feed trough out of them. Stay tuned. All right, we are almost finished. It's taken a minute to figure this out. Never built one of these. My wife and I have had to do some engineering, but uh, nobody said farmers were uh, great carper carpenters. Is that what you call them? Whatever they're called. Nobody ever said that farmers were great carpenters. So, but we're getting it. We just hope it lasts a long time. That's the purpose of it. And we want uh, the bison to eat a little bit more peacefully without being ran off and make sure that they're all getting the equal amount of feed that they're supposed to be getting. Let's wrap this up. Beautiful sunset. Bison been watching us for the past couple hours. And then to our backs, we hear some rumble in the grass and turn around and look and there's a herd of deer behind us. So it's kind of kind of cool to have the deer and have the bison just out here hanging out with us. And then you got Maya, who's 
work so hard today. Too tired. Okay, so it looks like we're done. Um, I need to clean the inside of it out, but um, <coughs> it's not perfect. I think um, when we build another one again, at some point, we do a couple things different, but it's pretty awesome. We'll see how it holds up. Bison can be really rough on um, equipment. They can be really rough on feed troughs. And so, you know, this was cheap. I mean, this was under 20 bucks. I had some, I had some deck screws left over. I had some finish screws left over. And then, uh, you know, I had a friend give me one of these tubs and I just split it in half. And we just put it together. My wife and I put it together in, in probably less than two hours. And that's the first time I've ever done it. And um, it's gonna work great. I'm gonna put some, drill some holes in it. When it rains, it'll drain out in the bottom. But other than that, We'll see how it works. We'll keep you updated. Well, hey guys. Uh, this morning we're gonna feed the bison we my wife and I built that trough yesterday and then we set it out in kind of in an isolated area and we're gonna see if we can get those heifers to come up and eat um, the grain we're feeding more grain right now and that's mainly because uh, it's winter time there's there's not a lot of grass on the ground which is fine uh, we're always putting out hay uh, we've already put out three or four bills of hay and um, since that first uh, video of, of, of me putting out hay now uh, they're eating a lot of hay but we're going to uh, go ahead and feed them and see if we can get some of those new heifers isolated where they can um, get the amount of feed that they need they're still trying to acclimate to uh, their new environment and and the new herd so there's some hierarchy going on right now with these herds or with these animals and um, you know they're trying to find their place and I think they're on the lower end right now so it just takes a little bit of, of figuring out when it comes to um, how to eat and, and where to eat you know because the the bull he, he eats where he wants to eat um, he's the most dominant and then you've got the two quapaw heifers which kind of run the roost also as well so um, hopefully they'll come up and eat let's give it a go Hey, big boy. Got all them cockerbirds in you. You guys ready to eat? See, you can already tell we've got the main herd up here ready to eat. And then there's the two new heifers right there. Not uh, anxious to come up here real quick um, but that's why we're doing this is hopefully um, adding that other trough and I probably am gonna have to make another one or go buy another one um, just for room so that we can get those new heifers to come up and eat and get the food that they need You can see the heifers. We got one in the back, or both of them are in the back. They're close to the feed, but haven't came up quite yet. 
what you have up here is you've got peaches and you got Eleanor. Sorry, it's so windy. Um, what we're gonna do right now is these heifers have not been out in the big pasture and we're gonna let them out the big pasture right now. They're already ready to go. <laughs> Here we go. Here they go in the big pasture. I love watching them come out uh, for the first time. We, we've had them locked up in one of our smaller lots for a while because uh, just try to get them acclimated to everything. Uh, but it's so fun when they get so excited to get out in the big pasture where they belong and, and let them roam around. So it's, it's always fun to watch. Hey guys that's it for today i hope you enjoyed the video of just doing you know some random stuff around the farm we my wife and i put a feeder together yesterday and probably put it together in about uh, i don't know probably two hours with us two doing it <laughs> but uh I'm, I'm glad she helped me do that and you know i'm saving a lot of money by buying one of those instead of a feed trough so um pardon the wind this is the great plains and you know, I know some people are like, he needs to work on uh, his sound issue in the wind. Well, you know what, I'm sorry. I'm not a professional photographer, but uh, this is part of Oklahoma. It's always windy here and we live out on the, the plains. So um, right there at the edge actually of the Great Plains and the Eastern Woodlands of Oklahoma. Uh, so. Guys, thank you for everything. Thank you for the support. Thank you for following us. Got a lot of random stuff done on the farm. We're getting that slab cleaned off. And here in the next couple weeks, we're going to get our handling system and we're going to get the squeeze chute. Once we get that whole concrete pad cleaned off and we're going to have a full out bison handling system so we can work our bison, uh, hopefully towards the middle or uh, late, I say middle, it is the middle of November, geez, uh, late November, maybe around Thanksgiving. Thank you guys.
guys, Dusty Baker with Cross Timbers Bison. Welcome back. As you guys know, we've got two more additions to the herd. We've got uh, two young heifers. Did you fix it? Yeah. Hey guys, it's Dusty Baker. Sorry. Stop it. Stop it. 